Hello Terminator, it's Terminator here with your boy Cluck Norris. So today we had a unusual encounter with someone. Uh, Polyworks sent me a tray today and he showed me a bow that I didn't recognize and he asked me to offer on it and it has greed and it's really cool looking honestly. Um, he told me to offer on it and I was yanking his leg and said 500 silver. Uh, he said bra and then said do you want it to borrow it for a YouTube video? And I said, I think it's unreleased, and I believe you when you say it, so sure. I mean, like, w would you get a bow that's unreleased? I mean, I, I totally believe it because I've never seen this thing in my life before. And man, is it cool looking. I mean, here's my sand ravaged and a wreath bow. And boys, like, let me take off my ranging gear really quick. This is blocking the beauty of this thing. Look at this thing. It has a little coral on it. And it's so coolly shaped. I mean, this thing is really cool. Um, so I put my ranging gear back on. Alright, alright, alright. So, um, where's my skills at? Skills. Skills, okay. As you can see from there, when I'm wearing the bow, I got 19% greed. But if I take it off, uh, 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 let's put on my OG bow. Just look at how quick the stats and the attack raise, but lowers my, my greed. So, um, it's crazy. I mean, you know, there's a lot of things, you know, coming out that add, add greed. Uh, they're not the best, but they're good for leveling up and grinding and getting more money out of, uh, what you're getting. So, uh, I mainly wanted to make a video to showcase this bow. I've never seen it, and honestly, it feels a little legal to have. I don't know, you know, if it's actually in release, and if it is, how he got it, if I'm allowed to have it, or be recording a video, but, I mean, you know, leaks always add hype to the game, you know, like, this, this is really cool, so, it's really pretty, and, uh, yeah, I figured, why not make a quick video about it? Um... So, I'm going to be giving it back to Polyworks, and, uh, he's really the goat for getting it to me, and, honestly, if it's not actually in release, I'm going to look stupid, but, hey, I mean, we're here to uh, okay, let's go for him a little bit. This thing looks so sick, it's a little bit on the thick side of things. The thick-ass bow. really sick though. I like the vibrant colors. I honestly, if I had this thing, which I do have this thing right now, um, I wouldn't be able to actually dye it. Like, it's just so pretty. Look at all the little details. Like, if you dyed this black, it would, you know, turn on the coral, the coral black. Like, I would, I would dye it black if it, if it would keep the corals, you know, the same color. Like, that's kind of the one thing I don't like about the dyeing system is, uh, let's say, let's see. For example, oh yeah, pets have variants now, and it's really sick, honestly. Uh, I'm just sad she clucked more, it's just old too. But, I mean, there's that cradle chicken, which is, you know, pretty good now. But, uh, like, Rowdy Pet, he's so cool, but I, I wish I could, like, keep the chef hat, like, white. Or, you know, like, at the very least, like, use multiple dyes to dye di certain things, different colors. That would be really neat. I mean, obviously, because they are different colors, but just kind of dyes the whole Like, if I wanted to dye my chicken, I'd like to just only dye the white parts pink or something, you know? But Clucky Morris is a savage, he's never getting dyed, okay? Let's understand, that, that will never happen. But Clucky Morris is a savage, you know? It used to be a very valuable thing to have a dyed, a dyed chicken, you know, they made a pretty good dyed chicken. So. But now, uh, it's allowed, so... It's so cool. Uh, 
Um, I just love it. I love the colors, uh, and I like the fact that it goes green. And, uh, level requirement 27. Okay, so it has 101 attack. So if we take it, uh, it's gonna compare it to a scrap sword. But, uh, I kinda left my scrap sword in the bank. Scrap bow's worth 850 silver. I tried to offer 500 and he, you know, got offended, but... Okay, so Scrap Bow has 151, but I mean... If you get the right curse attacks on, on the Reef Battle... It, 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 it'd probably be better than some, if not a lot, of Scrap Bows, you know? And it would technically make it gold tier. Like, very likely, if it was that good, but uh... No, it's pretty cool, honestly. And, uh... Yeah. If you want to see the 1v1ing people in cat girl armor, then put 25 likes on this video, alright? 25 likes on this video, and I'll do a 1v1 with cat girl armor. We got till the end of October. Alright, alright, alright. So, uh, yeah. If you want to see me 1v1ing people in cat girl armor, then, uh, takes off my walk speed, my stamina, a lot of my defense, my range attack, my block chance. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll one, one v one in Delgar for a couple cat girl armor. So, yeah, if you want to see that, make sure to put 25 likes in the video. And if you enjoyed this video and think this bow is cool, make sure to leave a like. If you're new around here, subscribe because it definitely helps me out. I greatly appreciate it. And, uh, my, my character's a little angry. If you notice he's angry looking, it's because I gave him my haircut. So he wasn't Boy, so yeah, I really like I really like the new haircut. It's fit. I like it. I wish I could like easily like go go to the front of my character without like emoting to like see how he looks. Yeah, I mean, he's a little mad that I cut his hair, but uh, hey, here we are now. So uh, yeah, Terminators, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scouts.